Hi guys, so today I am going to be unboxing my very first art subscription box. It's from Scrawler Box and I'm dying to see what's inside, so let's check it out. So as I said, I was really excited to receive the box. I'd ordered it a while before um, with the delays of shipping. It took a little bit longer than normal, I think. Um, but first up is this little magazine and a little A5 print by the um, artist of this month, which for Scroller Box was Alice Coles. And all the products in here, I think, are something she's used to create her artwork on the front of that picture. So first thing I saw was the paper. This is C White of Brighton 350 GSM watercolor paper, and we get 12 sheets. And then in this little mini cardboard contraption, I was very excited to open until I saw them. And then I realized that they were a pastel crayon kind of thing. I felt a little bit disheartened because I don't love messy um, pastels and crayons, things like that. I'm not a huge fan of them, but nevertheless, I was excited to try them out anyway. Um, but yeah, I, as I further read into it, they're actually called Derwent Ink Tense Blocks and they're actually water soluble. So you can create watercolor like ink sort of things with them. We also got this paintbrush, which is called the Sea White Synthetic Round Brush. Looked pretty nice to me. The Jelly Roll 08 White, um, which is a gel pen. And I was very excited to try that one as well. And then lastly was the Caran Dash Prismalo Pencil which is a water soluble pencil that you can use to sketch with and then drag it out with some water. Um, this has got the scroller box sticker and the little list of the menu items. And of course the yummy little candy that comes with it. Um, and so I ate that straight away. That didn't last much longer than this video. So that's everything in the box and I am very ready to get started on creating something using the prompt word. Okay, so here I am. I'm super excited because the word that's on this scroll box challenge is spirit animal. So that's supposed to inspire creativity and get you started in what you're going to use your box of products to create. So I thought I would definitely follow that um, inspiration word and I would create my spirit animal which is the dolphin. And to be honest, we've actually had this chat with my daughter before. What animal would you be if you could be an animal? And everyone says in my family that I should be a dolphin if I was, if I was an animal. So I thought that was interesting that my spirit animal is a dolphin and they can actually see me as a dolphin. So yeah, I'm going to figure out if I can create something using these new products. Oh my God, this is really tricky to get into. Yeah, and see what I can come up with. I've never used these Derwent Ink Tents blocks before, so I'm excited to see what they can create. Apparently you can use them dry, wet, um, with water, and I'll be using them wet mostly, just because I'm more comfortable with it wet, I think, and I think the outcome would be a little bit nicer. I might even just do a little test swatch of how they actually work first. So, let's check out this stuff. I don't think you're supposed to use it straight from... Oh, wow. Ooh, that's fun. Let's take them out. I wonder if they're going to be super messy. See, so they're very chalky to start with. You can kind of blend them down with your finger, but I definitely enjoy them as watercolours. That's going to be fun. Okay, I can see my white table is not going to stay white for very long. Try and be cleaner. green. Ooh, kind of warm brown beigey sort of color. Oh wow, that's a nice purple. Oh, wow, these colors are so vibrant and lovely. Wow, those colors are so beautiful. I think I'm gonna have to do some sort of multicolored dolphin because I'd love to use these colors in the piece that I make. And this one is the Caran d'Ache watercolor pencil Prismalu. Let's see how that works. Oh wow, it works like a pencil. <laughs> and then let's see how it reacts when you add water. Cool, well that could work for a dolphin. That could definitely work. 
Ooh, what about, all right, I'm thinking if I did the dolphin in this watercolor pencil and just kind of spread out the black, creating a gray for the dolphins. And then maybe I can use all these colors for like a galaxy in behind it. Because when I think of spirit animal, I always think of like, you know, nighttime and skies and lots of, you know, spirity elements, clouds and stars and things like that. So I think that would look really cool if I did a galaxy using these colors and the dolphins in that. Oh, and then highlights with the white, which is obviously not gonna show up when I'm doing it like that. But when they're dry, we can put that on for highlights. This is the Sakura Jelly Roll pen. This is my very first one. I've never tried this before. I've always wanted to try it because I've seen a lot of YouTubers use this one. So that would be interesting to try. Okay, so let's get started. Jesus. So it's safe to say that they're messy. Oh, they're erasable. They're messy, but they're erasable. Yay. Okay, so I am gonna use my handy dandy pencil first because I just wanna get out the sketch of the dolphins first. I've decided to do a pair of dolphins that like are jumping out of the water. They're not gonna be in water. In my drawing, they're going to be jumping in front of the galaxy as we discussed. So I'm just gonna sketch them out now. Okay, so we have one dolphin, and now I'm deciding to do two because I thought doing two dolphins would be cute. Okay, so we have our sketch. I'm just gonna lighten it up a bit so that I can not see any lead pencil at the end. And now I can use the black Caran d'Ache pencil, watercolor pencil, to go over the top of that. I am wondering though whether I should start the background first. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a product that I already have. It is called Masking Fluid. And this, I'm just gonna put over the dolphins. Um, you just paint it on like a, like a normal paint, but it's actually got latex in it so that you can rub off that afterwards. And you can apply all your watercolor straight over the top of it when it's dry, and then just rub it back when, it's, when all the background's done, and then you can go in and do the detail on your foreground. Here, I'm just gonna dip it in and go right to the edge of it and paint it all on. It's kind of like you're painting with a watery glue. If you're wondering why I would be likened to a dolphin, I think it's because I love socializing, love to be with people. Um, I'm quite a happy person and I don't know, I make dolphin noises. No, that's not true. I have no idea why else. I'm pretty sure it's just that. Social and happy. If anyone has their own, like their star sign spirit animal is also similar to them, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what kind of spirit animal you are or what animal you would be if you were an animal. I, I like that question. I don't know why. I think it's interesting. So we've painted that on now. Now we just have to wait for it to dry. And it doesn't take too long. This is already drying here. But I am just gonna wash my brush out because it seems to ruin the brushes. Okay, I'm impatient, so I'm going to use my hairdryer. <laughs> Whoops. Should have uh, tied things down. In fact, I'm now going to stick the page down. Ooh, this one's pretty. I do apologize about, apologize. I apologize about my nails. I apologize about my dodgy nails at the moment. They're due for a refresh of paint. I'm really hoping this creates a straight line. Try that again. Okay, now for the galaxy. Let's make a really, really dark shade. And then one the pink. And then the blue. Oh, aren't those three colors just gorgeous? 
think they're the ones I'll use mainly. See, I'm thinking if we dab it into wet areas, it might make quite a cool galaxy sort of looking effect. So maybe if I wet portions of the paper, and I should really use clean water for this, then grab the colour I want and tap it in. Ooh, pretty. Kind of tempted to throw in some green. And some yellow, why not? Okay, let's hope this looks better in the end because it can kind of look a bit like a hot mess at the beginning. Okay, that's doing something nice. I prefer that over there. Maybe we can try and fix this area. Oh, all this flicking over here is giving me an idea to put some flickings on here. Flickings, technical term. Flick, flick. Oh, that's super dark. Woo, woo. But I kind of like it. If that dries nice and dark, that would look more galaxy-ish. It's almost chunking off bits of the block onto the artwork. Could be cool. This is what we call explorative art. I do love working like this. It's so peaceful and it's nice not worrying about what the finished product looks like. Just playing and seeing what you can do with the products. It's very fun. This section over here is looking a bit of a mess. I'll just pull it out using some of the water. Okay, I think it's time to dry and then do another layer. like it. I actually like what it's doing there so I kind of don't want to touch that. Okay so that's one layer kind of dry. Now I'm going to add some more but I think I might try the dry way and see what that does. Um, maybe if I use a blade to kind of shave it off. What's that gonna do? I don't know. I used to do this with my pencils all the time at school to shade. You would just use your scissors to like carve some of the lead off and then you'd just like rub it in using your finger or a tissue or something. It might work. Okay, yuck. Help, water, help. Okay, let's do some more flicking. <gasps> Every time. So clumsy. Are dolphins clumsy? I reckon they would be. It's one of my dolphinisms, clumsiness. See? It's all good. It's all good. It's all about not freaking out. Okay, so this is getting super messy. Which is very unusual for the way I work. So, it's good. I'm trying something different. Yay! All right, that looks very galaxy-ish to me. It's 
So I'm gonna stop there and then let it dry. Ta-da! And we're done! Not really. Gotta do the dolphins. All right, so this part, hang on first. I'm sorry, but I just have to clean my desk. <sighs> okay, so now I'm going to rub away the masking fluid that I put down here earlier. And then that will reveal a nice clean dolphin that I can then do my black watercolor pencil on. Oh, this part is so satisfying. So now I'm going to use this pencil to sketch in my dolphins. Now watercolour pencils I don't tend to use very much, so we'll, it just kind of doesn't work the way I work very well, because I work quite precise and when you're using watercolour you kind of want that looseness, but a pencil tells me to be precise. So. I'll see if this works anyway. I'll do my best. I'll try and stay not too detailed with the pencil because I'm just going to be blending it out with water anyway. And so here I'm just adding in mainly like the values I can see. So that's the different shades of darkness and lightness throughout the dolphins. Okay, one dolphin is done for the shading. I'm not sure whether to use the water now or after. Yeah, I think I might do them separately. So do that one now, that way I can see if there's any issues. But I've got to clean out my water because this is like highly, highly purple. I'll be right back. Okay, so got clean water and I'm just thinking, no wonder these are staining my desk. Of course they're ink, they're ink tents, water, the blocks. So. Yeah, they're water soluble pigments, but they're pretty much making an ink like medium. So yes, not really watercolor, which I can clean off. So note to self and note to anybody else who wants to try them out. Yeah, they will stain. So now I'm just going to use the watercolor um, pencil as I would normal watercolor. So I'm going to kind of go over the darker areas and then blend in to the light. But I'm nervous because I don't really know if that's going to work. I'm just going to wash my brush between. Kind of works. So it turns out I did the opposite to what I just said. I'm working more in the lighter sections and then feathering outwards towards the darker bits. Seems to blend a bit easier. Definitely gonna need to use some white pen on this because it's just getting muddy and sort of lost, lost in there. There's not enough contrast. So by having the white, I'm hoping that that'll pop it out from the background a bit. Okay, so there's one section. Might just see if I can go in with more detail. There you go kind of works nicely when you're working on a wet surface. I've got like more control, but it's not too, it's not too much. It's still a little loose. Just a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna dry that pencil off and I'm gonna go in on the next dolphin. Uh, actually, no, I'll do this tail down here so that we've got because I want to keep that area so that he's, that I'm only working on the dry areas at one time because I don't want to start adding water and it might blend into this guy. So if I work on this part, get him dry, and then I can do that. It's a shame the watercolour paper didn't really handle the masking fluid that well. It's kind of pilled in the areas that I um, took it off. It was watercolour paper, wasn't it? Yes, it was. If you're enjoying this video, 
by the way. Um, please let me know down below so that I could do maybe more of these in the future or even if you just like it and then I'll know that it's something that you all enjoyed. That would really help me out because it's definitely different to what I normally put out, like mainly bullet journal focused. But yeah, I just ordered this box and I thought it might be cool to show what's in it and how I would make art when I'm not prepared, just having a bit of fun and trying out some new products. Okay, back to the water. I'm just gonna lift a little bit of that color on the tail. A little too dark for me. And now we can go ahead and start drawing the front dolphin. Okay, time to put in the watercolor. Okay, now that I've finished the all the wet part, I'm gonna wait till it dries and then I'll go in with this jelly roll and add some highlights. Okay, so now that she's dry, can go in with this jelly roll. Jelly roll. And I'm gonna add some stars. And I might do an outline around it too, to separate it from the background a bit better. Dots, dots, dots. Just noticed all these noises that I'm making, everything is reminding me of a dolphin now. And I always seem to do that. <laughs> My dolphin noise. Okay, this is just a letdown. I don't know why it's not working properly. It's like, it's like the, block, the ink tense blocks are actually getting stuck on there kind of thing. To maybe be really gentle. Gentle. Gentle as a dolphin. It's killing me not to use my own Sigma, no, Signo Uniball Broad White Gel Pen because I just love that. And this is bugging me. But I can't, I must use it. It's got to be a way. I think maybe because it's still a little bit tiny, tiny bit damp. Maybe that's why. Kind of just doing dots randomly. Also, I kind of want them to follow curved lines because I imagine that's how galaxies would. All right. And I think that's as many dots as I can do right now. Oh wait, false alarm. Uh, now we're done. Putting the pen down. And that is it. So that is the artwork that I have come up with for this scroller box challenge. Um, in conclusion, I enjoyed working with it. It was lots of fun, but I'm just not practiced in it enough for me to make more art with it. So I guess I'll be leaving it for a little while. And maybe when I feel like doing some more fun stuff, I would then play with it some more. But yeah, I loved the prompt word of spirit animal. Thought that was really, really fun. And I'm happy with the piece that I created. Hopefully I can find a use for this guy. Um, if you enjoyed the video and liked this kind, if you wanna see more, please like it um, and subscribe for more of my content. And check out some videos that I'll leave in the link description. Um, if you wanna see some of the other stuff that I do, um, more arty bullet journal related or other paintings that I've worked on. Anyway, I appreciate you watching and I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next week. Thanks, bye.